Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Lee. I use she, her pronouns, and today I'll be explaining what a research question is, as well as guide you on how to brainstorm and write your own research question. Without further ado, let's get started. To start off, we have to ask what is a research question? A research question is an answerable inquiry into a specific concern or issue and seeks to clarify or expand your pre-existing knowledge. It can also help direct you on choosing your research method depending on what kind of question you ask. So now that we know what a research question is, let's make one together. Please have a piece of paper and pen or pencil ready for the next part of the video. If you don't have one, please pause the video while you grab them and continue playing once you're ready. First off, we need to have a main topic for your research question. This topic can be anything and can start out general, such as topics you're curious about, problems or issues you notice around you, or questions you have about anything. Do note that the questions you ask can't be too simple where they can be answered by a simple Google or Wikipedia search. It should be something that could be answered, but more importantly, it should be a question where people can argue over the answer and require evidence to back up their argument. For this video's example, I will start off with the general topic, the environment. Once you have something in mind, take a moment to pause this video and take about a minute to write it down on your piece of paper and continue playing this video. Now that we have a topic, let's start narrowing it down. To do so, we must first consider what aspect of the topic is an issue or problem that you want to discuss in your paper. What riles you up about this topic? What makes you excited about this topic? What do you want to learn more about this topic? All of these questions are fundamentally based from your curiosity, and following your curiosity down the rabbit hole can help in narrowing down your topic. In my example, the reason I am interested in the environment is because it's heavily polluted and I want to find a solution to this problem. Pollution in the environment is still too general, so I can narrow it down by considering the audience and purpose of the paper. The audience will include the people who will be reading your paper, the people that you wish will read the paper, and the people who are affected by the topic of your paper. What do you wish to tell them in your paper? Do you wish to inform them about something new from your topic or state an opinion about your topic? And of course, why do you want to do so? This will help drive your reasoning and support behind writing your research paper. For my example, I wish to tell architects that urbanization is polluting the environment in order to push them to develop greener solutions for buildings. This would then refine my topic into the impact of cities and people on the environment. Now it's your turn to refine your topic. Please pause the video and take a few minutes to jot down the answers to the slides questions on your piece of paper however you wish. Once you're done, please continue on to the next slide. After we confirm the audience and purpose of your paper, let's refine the content of your research topic itself. There are some simple guiding questions we can ask to narrow down the research topic. Who or what is your research about? Where is it set? Is it set in a country, state, or city? When is it set? Is it set during a specific year or during a specific time frame? How and why is this important? Repeatedly asking the how-why question to yourself is a great method to narrow down the research topic. Let's use a sample topic as a demonstration. Currently, the example research topic is the impact of cities and people on the environment, which answers our what question. As for where and when, we can choose Seattle within the last 10 years since we're talking about the effect of the city population on the environment over time. Now we must ask how or why. How does the population in city affect the environment? One answer would be the increase in the human population requires expansion of the city spaces. We can then continue this chain of questions. How does the city expansion affect nature? Urbanization requires the construction of buildings and the dest destruction of nature-filled land. From here, we have our focus and settings down, for example. Now it's your turn. Please pause the video and take a few minutes to jot down the answers to the questions on your piece of paper and ask yourself a chain of how-why questions in order to further understand and narrow down your topic. Once you have done so, please continue on to the next slide.
We have our topic from the beginning slide, our purpose and why we consider our topic important from slide 5, and our specific research target from slide 6. Now it's time to combine it all together to make our research question. Using the notes taken throughout the slides, we can fill in the blanks on the template given here. I am researching the topic in order to understand the specific or narrowed down content because of the significance or the purpose of your research. For example, the complete sentence would be, I am studying the environment in order to understand the effect of population growth in Seattle on the environment within the past 10 years because urbanization negatively impacts the environment. Now you might argue right now, this sentence isn't a question, it's a statement, and I totally agree. The sentence we have now is actually your argument or thesis statement. A bit rough, albeit, but it can stand as your central argument for your paper. To flip it into a research question, simply add interrogative words such as how, why, what, and, or change it into a cause and effect question where you're asking the cause of the issue and your paper will discuss the effect. Voila, you now have your research question. Please pause the video and fill out the blanks of the template on your piece of paper as well as rewriting it into a question. Once you're ready, please continue on to the next slide. We've created your research question, now it's time to add the finishing touches to it. As stated before, double check that the question is not a yes or no question and is something that can be argued about. Next, visualize what type of research method you would use in order to answer the research question and check if that method is a feasible method for you. If we were to choose the population growth in all of Washington instead of Seattle, for example, that would take too much time and resources for a short research paper, hence we will reduce the scale down to Seattle only. If you think you narrowed down your topic too much, then you can expand the scale of your research to become more general. Research is an iterative process where you can always go back and revise your research question if any unexpected changes occur during your later research as long as you doc clearly document the process and changes. Lastly, conduct some preliminary research on your topic. When I talk about conducting preliminary research on your topic, this means looking into other scholars' publications about the topic and their opinions about the topic using the UW Libraries webpage or other databases. From there, you can check if they have any missing gaps in their research that you want to fill in during your own research, or if you wish to repeat their research method in a different environment or target group. If their results match or differ from your research results, this can serve as either supporting evidence or counter evidence for your own research paper, both of which are great resources for strengthening your own argument. Research is an ongoing conversation, and published sources may not always necessarily contain the right or valid answer. Not everything can be a black or white answer, which is why it's important for scholars to support their arguments and counter doubts with evidence through their research. By adding to this conversation with our research paper, we can contribute to the growth in knowledge and expansion of perspectives for others and continue the cycle of research. It took some time, but I hope now you have a better understanding of your research question and how to construct research questions for future papers.